Hey guys, Mark here at Wigan FPV. Just going to give you a catch up or a close up, sort of where I'm at on the build here. I ain't posted one in a while. I've, um, I've done and run it and I'm tickled to death with uh, all the suspension and everything. It's about right where it's at. Um, I've just had to make myself stop so I can get everything done. I've got a lot of wiring to do now. Um, working on all the inside wiring, I've got volt, five volt voltage regulator right here, taking care of um, these bright LEDs up front. I'm running some cool whites I ordered. Um, this is going to be the little logo goes on top of the radiator. I'm chroming it. Uh, this goes will be mounted up inside the front, sort of where he's at there, and uh, it's going to turn on multiple things. It's going to have a two power system to turn it on you have to turn this switch on and it'll turn like the fuel pump the radiator fan the rear lights front lights stuff like that and then you'll actually power up the ls the esc which is um uh, esdt whatever it is the new one 25 buck one that, that connects to your phone bluetooth i love that thing I've done, <coughs> excuse me, I've done a software update. Um, it's done, showed me one of my motors was actually bad, um, and I switched it out, and then end when it started pulling the uh, wrong ohm reading or something, I didn't know it was uh, an intelligent ESC, but it's uh, pretty cool. Uh, and I've played with um, the different modes, like, um, I'll show you up under this thing too. I've played with the different modes of it, like crawler and drift and on road. And to for me, mine has the most power and the most speed at on road. Now, there is a difference. Um, on my crawler, it won't go near as fast, and the on road has the fastest top end speed and uh, still crazy slow crawlability. Um, this thing actually flexes pretty good and stuff. I can't wait to uh, show y'all some running video of this. Here's up and under the bottom. Uh, everything's hid. You can't see anything. I built a skid plate there, and it's actually going to have an oil pan uh, mounted right on the bottom of it, hiding the ESC power button. Um, and you're actually going to actually push the belly of the oil pan to turn it on and off. I don't want anything visible everything i want hid um and it's sort of going to be a novelty piece because this is going to have a sound system uh decased the sound system and running it in two different places and uh it's just going to be crown packed with stuff but when it's all together you actually can't see that little hollow space right there Looking around it, um, it's like, where in the hell is everything? You know, where's the battery? Where's the ESC? Where's the sound system? Where's this? Where's that? Where's the winch controller? I mean, uh, I'm getting it loaded out, and it's pretty neat that you can't really see where everything's going to be. So, uh, it's coming together pretty good so far. I'm tickled to death. I thought that 35-turn motor through this uh, transmission was going to be super slow but hey it's perfect for me there's no way i'd run this faster than what it run uh which it's not i'm not saying it's crazy fast or nothing i'm figuring it might be uh not eight nine mile an hour or something like that i just wanted something to spin the tars good and do donuts and drift with it and it does that excellent um i didn't think it would even have enough high speed to spin the tires and drift with it but it's just perfect um i'm tickled tickled with it so uh hope to get you all a running video within the uh, next couple of days i should be done with it and i figure six to eight months on getting all my mess cleaned up <laughs> thank you guys for watching wicking fpv we'll catch you later